Okay, so in this problem, we have a table that shows both profit and loss in millions earned by three companies from 1997 to 2006. Find the range of the annual results and the overall profit or loss for each company over the time period. So here's a time period right here going along the table. And then one, two, three companies. Let's start with the range for each company first. Now range, you might remember, is just the, the difference of the high minus the low. So in each case, what we have to do is identify the high and low for each company and then subtract them and find the difference. Now I actually tried to make this video already. This is my second time. And I, I don't think this problem is difficult, but for someone like me, I, I tend to rush and I certainly missed what the highs and lows were for some of these. So for the first one, I had circled negative 5.3 and said, oh, that's the lowest. But we don't want to miss this right here, negative 7.2. And fortunately, I had a student actually point that out to me. So thank you, student. And here's the high right here. So we subtract. And that's that will be the range for the first company, Sands Motor. So the range for Sands Motor is going to equal, well, 10.2 minus negative 7.2 and, and as we do this we have to realize that we're, we're finding a range it's a distance between the high in this case 10.2 let's say zeros right here and negative 7.2 and when we subtract them we're finding this total distance so instinctively we should realize that the distance between these two numbers has to be the sum of 7.2 that's that's from here to here and 10.2 so really, subtracting a negative means that we're adding. So we have 10.2 plus 7.2, and that equals 17.4. And that's our range for the first one. Daily trends, the next one. Here it looks like the highest value is what? Well, 32.1 looks like the highest, and the lowest looks like negative 20.3. So now we're going to subtract those two, and the range is going to be different, of course. And the range in this case will be 32.1 minus negative 20.3. Really here what we're doing is, is adding. So it's 32.1 plus 20.3. And that's that's what? Well, 32 and, and 20 is 52, and 0.1 and 0.3 is 0.4, so that's 52.4. And in the last one, sell to you. This company looks like the highest is 130, and the lowest is negative 40. I'm just going to look around and make sure that it's actually correct. And our last range will be 130 minus negative 40. And that's just, again, that's like 130 plus 40, or 170. So those are the ranges for each of the companies. Let's look at the profits uh, or loss. And really what that means is add everything up. And in the end, if, if the amount of money we made exceeds the amount that we lost, or is greater than the amount we lost, that means we made a profit. And if it didn't, then we have a loss. So we're going to add these up. And the way I'm going to do it, the way I find most friendly, is to just add up all the negative values first. And we'll cross them out so I don't lose track, because I think I might have before. And then I'll add all the positives, and then look at the difference between them. So for this first company, of negative 5.3. Cross that out, plus negative 4.8, I'm just going to list them right here, and I know I'm adding them, plus negative 7.2, negative 2.1, negative 3.5, and those look like all my negatives. So what's the sum going to be here? I'm going to add the decimal parts and the whole number parts separately. I'm going to break this apart, and then I'm going to reconstruct the sum. So 0 0.8 and, and 0 0.2, right here is 1, plus 0.1 is 1.1, plus 0.5 is 1.6, and plus 0.3 is 1.9. That's the decimals, and I'm going to do it a second time, so that makes sense to me. 0 0.8 and 0 0.2 is 1, plus 0.1 is 1.1, plus 0.5, yep, 1.6, and then again, plus 0.3 is 1.9. And now adding up the negative numbers, what do we get? We'll notice that negative 3 and negative 7, that's negative 10. 
plus negative 5 is negative 15, plus negative 4 is negative 19, plus negative 2 is negative 21. So that's 21. And these are going to both be negative. So negative, oops, negative 21 plus one, negative 1 1.9 is what? Label that. Well, and I'm going to write below here, sorry. Warning, I'll know I run out of room here. Well, if I add up those two, we're going to get negative 22.9. And that's just the, those are my losses for this first company. What about the gains? Well, we have 1.4, 6.5, 3.2, and 2.4. Again, now I'm going to add the whole numbers. We have 7, 10, 22, that's the whole values, plus these decimals, 0 0.9, 1.1, 1.3, Add them up, we get 23.7. So notice we did lose a lot here, but we gained more. So we have a profit of plus, well, plus what? How much more, right, is, is how much further from zero, I could say, is 23.7 than negative 22.9? Well, it's it's less than one, right? It's, it's 23 and 0.7 away. 23.9 would be exactly one higher, so this is two less. So I'd say plus 0.8, and that would be a profit there, which doesn't seem like much, but again, this is in millions. So that's that's what? Well, that's about 800,000, and that's a pretty good profit. Okay, so now we're looking at our second company here, Daily Trans, and we want to add up all the positives and the negatives and sum all of that to see if we have a profit. Now this time, what I'm going to do is first add the positives. So we have six and 3.4, that's these two, 2.5, 9.8, 19.4, and 32.1. Okay, so, so let's add up the whole numbers first. So it's really 6, and 3, and 2, and 9, and 19, excuse me, and 32. And then we're going to add the decimal parts, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.4 again, and then 0 0.1. And then we're going to bring all that together. So 6 and 3 is 9, 11, 20, right? 39, and 30 is 69, that's 71. The decimal parts are going to be, going to be well, 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is 1, 1 1.4, and then another 0 0.8 is what? Well, that's 2.2. Add up those two, and I get 73.2. That's the amount of gain this company had over time. And now let's deal with the loss. We have negative 5.8, negative 12.3, negative 20.8, Three and negative one point five. We're thinking of it the same way. Here we have negative twenty, negative twenty-five, negative thirty-seven, negative thirty-eight. And what? Well, this is and my handwriting is sloppy here, so I'm gonna go back. That was negative one point five. This is point five, and then point three is point eight. Another point eight is 1.6, and this is 1.9. It's negative 1.9. Add up these two, and I get negative 39.9. So now I want to add up these two. Notice it's definitely going to be a profit, right? Because we made a lot more than we lost. And, and what we can really do is just think of this as 73.2 minus 39. Oops, 0.9. Okay, so we can we can solve this conventionally, or, or we can have a little more fun with this. What I'm actually going to do is rewrite it. So it's 73, right, minus 40. And you're going to say, well, that's changing the answer. Okay, that's true. We're changing it for a moment, but we're going to use this to find the real answer. And this is 33, right? 
Okay, so is that the answer? No. Let's look at how we changed it though. We took the top number and made it 0.2 smaller, and we took the bottom number and made it 0.1 bigger. So how does this compare to this difference right here? How should we change this to fit this what it actually should be? Well, at first glance, we say, oh, the difference should be, should be 2 greater because we should have started at 73.2, right? Think about a number line. We started at 73, but really we should start up here at 73.2. So the difference that we found, which just went from 73 to 40, I know this seems like a lot of work for nothing, but this, this is a way to intuitively break this down. This is 33. That was our answer, but it should be 33.2. Right, because we, we should have started at 73.2, but then you say, wait, oh, we should have also gone even further. We should have gone down to 39.9. Oh, so really this distance is 0.2 greater on this side and 0.1 greater there. Altogether, it should be 33.3, .3. and that's our profit. And we only have one more company to go. Let me just make a new window because I ran out of room there. And this company is called Sell to You. So again, start with the positives, right? We want to. I, I like starting with positive first. So 120, 98, 85, 130, 76, and five. Okay, let's let's add the hundreds first. So we have 100, 200, and then we have 20 and 30. It's 50. So that's 250. 255 plus 6 is 261. Did I write it? Yeah, 261. 266 plus 8 is 274. Write this down before I lose track. 274 plus 90. We have to add back an 80 and 70. Right, because we haven't added those in yet. 80 and 70, 150. 90, 274 is 364. Plus 150. Gives us what? Well, 64 and 50 is 114, 214, and then 300 more is 514. That's their profit in millions. Now the losses negative 20, negative 40, negative 5. Nice whole numbers here negative 30. Altogether, negative 30 and 20 is negative 50, negative 90, negative 95. And when we add these two, we're going to end up just, we can write that as 514 minus 95. And that will represent our profit. So what's the profit? Well, 514 minus 100 is a lot easier to think about. And that's just 414. And 95 is 5 smaller than 100. So our difference should be 5 greater. And we should get 400, oops, and 19 as our profit.